One more thing we'll show you in this tutorial is how to do load combinations. Um, if your load's already set, um, you have load cases. So you can see these different load cases. Currently, I have one through eight based on individually each of those dead load, uh, live load, wind load, on down the line. Now, I can also go to load combinations. If I wanted to add a specific combination, you can see I have one here. Um, so let's just say we got rid of this one. And I'm going to add a new one. Under that addition to that load, we want to find a formula here. The way that we add that is down at this portion here. So I'm going to add in uh, several pieces. You can just add a couple in and then go in and uh, put a factor in for that specific load and change it to whatever you want it to be. Now here we will also change these from live to wind, you can see how this works, and you can add as many uh, variables as you want into that load combination. If you want to make a new combination, we would just go ahead and add another one, and it gives you another uh, opportunity to add in more down here. Like so. So once those are in, that gives you your load combinations, and uh, then you're ready to go ahead and throw this into robot structure. Uh, in order to throw it into robot structure, um, you will go ahead and make sure that robot structure is actually already s currently started on your machine and then there will be a very efficient transfer over to robot structure.